And I would say the number one thing is that I can be by myself for long periods of time and not worry about um, seeing another person, talking to another person. Hey everyone, Dan and his van here. Today I want to talk about nomad life and I want to talk about how to get your mindset right and the things I've learned since being on the road for the last two years. I belong to a virtual caravan group of nomads, other people that live in RVs and vehicles or are planning to do this. We get together every Sunday for two hours. We share a lot of topics and uh, I'll actually leave the link below or in the description somewhere. So if you feel like checking out this group, feel free, it's free. And if you're interested in this lifestyle, then show up because there's men's, there's women's, and there's all gender. I prefer to go to the men's group because um, that's what I'm most comfortable doing. Whatever you're most comfortable doing, then do it. What I've learned and what I've learned from creating content is that I say so and um an awful lot. So you see, I just said it again. Anyway, what I've learned about myself since being on the road, and I would say the number one thing is that I can be by myself for long periods of time and not worry about um, seeing another person, talking to another person. Every week I will go to town wherever I am and I will interact you know, when I go shopping or whatever. But for the most part, I don't see a lot of people. I'm by myself probably 99% of the time. And I'll go one better. You have to be okay with being in a small space by yourself. Because sometimes like here in the desert, and I don't know if you can hear it, you can probably hear the wind sometimes. It's been blowing. The Santa Ana winds come from California and they whip right through Arizona and Utah every single year at this time. So you have to be comfortable being uh, in your vehicle or in your RV or in your tent or in your whatever for long periods of time because sometimes you may not be able to, you know, go outside for a long time. Now, it's beautiful sunny day, but it's blowing 25 miles an hour plus. You're gonna get dirt in your face and dirt in the eye. Now I do go out and get exercise and things like that, but I haven't been hanging out as much this week because it's just too windy. The other thing I've learned about myself is I was more of an introvert than I thought I was. And I call myself a social introvert because a social introvert can be by themselves for long periods of time, but can also interact with others. I belong to a community where I, um, two to four times a week. Usually I'm doing online digital marketing training and social media marketing training and mindset training um, on live Zooms every week. And the mentor uh, that I actually have is great and helps with your mindset, with navigating all these issues that you may have with yourself. Because if you're in a certain position in your life, if you're broke, if you're in a dead end job, if you are, you know, whatever, feel like whatever roadblock you think is keeping you from doing something, it's only because of this person. The person you see in the mirror, 99% of the time, that's the problem. Now, of course, there are situations where it's out of your control, but 99% of the time, you're in the situation you're in right now because of you. No one else because of you. I want to be debt free in five years. So I moved into a van. Well, I have debt because of me. I don't have debt because of any other outside factors. I chose to be in debt for whatever reason. Now I'm choosing to get out of debt. And that's a really big shift in mindset because we always want to be the victim. We always want to be the person that's, oh, well, I broke my arm or I twisted my ankle or you know next year i'll be able to do this i can't save any money because groceries are too high um gas is too much money 
living in a vehicle in a closed space puts a lot of things in perspective. Even things like showering every day. That doesn't happen when you live in a vehicle. You don't shower every day. Even if you own an RV, these people that live in RVs and stuff, I guarantee you they are not showering every day. They may take a bird bath and stuff like that. Like I'll, I'll wash up every day, but you're showering at most three times a week. I asked the doctor, I said, you know, I'm gonna be, before I started living in my van, I said to him, I said, you know, how often do you really need to shower? And he goes, well, it depends on how active you are. He says, I know you have a, a day job and you work on the computer all day and basically all night you're on the computer. So you're not doing a lot of physical labor. So you're really not getting that dirty sitting around your van, which is absolutely true. I know a lot of people, this may be like, oh, that's gross. You have to shower every day, but you don't. He said, you shower every two to three days. That's fine. For someone that doesn't do a lot and just walks every day or gets exercise or whatever, but you're not working out, you're not sweating, unless it's too hot in the van or something like that, it's fine. If I go to Planet Fitness, I have a Planet Fitness membership. So you have being okay by yourself, being an introvert like I am. But like I said, I do get social interaction. Um, as long as I have my internet and my phone, everything's fine. I, I talk to my friends all the time, online, on the phone via text. However, I interact with people every day at work. So I do get social interaction with other people. It's just that it's not face to face. I'm more of an introvert than I thought. But if I want to go out and socialize, I can. When I was in Vegas, I socialized with people when I was out in Vegas back in August. I didn't have any problem with it. But if I'm around a lot of people all, all the time for like a whole weekend, it'll take a lot out of me because I don't want to be, you know, just, sometimes you just want to wander off and be by yourself. That's why whenever I dated someone or I was with someone, they had to have their own friends because I don't want to be in charge of making that other person happy or entertained 24 seven. That's just not me. Even people that camp with me or next to me. I, I had one of my buddies was camping next to me, like six feet away from my van. And I only saw him like an hour a day because I like to be by myself. You actually may be more of an introvert than you know, but you have to be able to be by yourself because if you're not comfortable being by yourself, this lifestyle is not for you. I laugh. I, I have a great time by myself. I know that sounds funny, but I really do. Like I'll be watching shows laughing aloud just like I would if I was with somebody else. I've always been sort of like that. And I've been, I've lived by myself for 25 years. I did have roommates when I was in Canada and a couple times in Florida, but for the most time, for the most part, I've always lived by myself. That was another thing. I would never date anybody that had never lived by themselves. And the one person that I did, it didn't work out. They just have no idea how it is being by themselves. And we all have those friends. You know what I'm talking about. We all have those friends who have to have a boyfriend or have to have a girlfriend. I'm on the other side of that spectrum. I don't need to have anybody. If you want more of this content or if you like this content, just leave me a comment. Um, yeah, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you have any other topics, questions, whatever, just let me know. I'll talk about it. Oh.